Hello YouTube, Sentinel H here, and welcome back to our Rotary Craft tutorial series. By viewer request, in this episode we're going to be talking about the sorting machine. A very simple device in Rotary Craft that is actually very cool, I like it, and I think it's uh, quite useful. It's a different sort of sorting system that I think is, uh, is quite fun. So to build your sorting machine, it's actually very, very cheap. A hopper, two steel ingots, two base panels, and although you do need a circuit board. Okay? So it's not complex and it's not that expensive and gives you a sorting machine. Now if we turn around, I've got a bit of a setup uh, put up over here. Now sorting machines do require power. They require uh, 1024 kilowatts. Well, yeah, at some um, 256 radians, which is just the output of a DC electric engine. So I'm using those for this. Um, you could, of course, use something else, um, but of course, DC electric engines, you know, all the power you need. Uh, there's nothing to indicate that giving these things any more power has any effect at all, so don't do that. But, you know, if you had four of these, you could easily run it off a single windmill, that kind of thing. You could run 16 of these off a steam engine. Um, so let's take a look at how it functions. Uh, the sorting machine, actually, first we'll just plunk one down so you can see all the sides. So you'll notice which side uh, takes the power because it has this tiny little square on it. And then the sorting machine has three outputs, the green side, the blue side, and the red side. And the top side is its input side. There's also a output slot on the bottom. So that's what it, that's, uh, what it looks like. So once you give it power, the, the way that you use the sorting machine is you right click it to go to its GUI. And then you can set, uh, set up quite a large number of items uh, in each slot. Now, the machine will not let you put the same item in twice in any of the slots. So unfortunately, you can't like uh, you can't put wood in two slots and have it round robin. But um, uh, it does make sure that you don't accidentally do something silly. So uh, right here, we've got this setup to send wood out the red side, uh, wool at the, at the green side, and stone out the blue side. So if I go ahead and throw some wood in, did I miss? I did. I missed the sorting machine. Chuck it into the top side. It sends it over there. And I've got another sorting machine set up down here to show you that you can very easily chain these together. And if I chuck stone in, we end up with the stone coming down here into this chest through the hopper. And the same thing will happen if I throw it in the wall. Now the reason we have hoppers here uh, is, ignore that chat. I don't know why that's there on the single player. Um, the reason we have a hopper here is that you can't actually put a chest directly up against the, um, the sorting machine. If I do that, remember that this one is set up to send wood to the blue one. If I do that, it just spits it out the blue side, it bops around. It's given some sort of IRC thing. I don't know how to get it though. Um, so you can't do that. You need to use hoppers to get items into uh, chests. Um, or if there's some sort of block in another mod that you're using that lets you just chuck things on top of it, you can do that as well. But hoppers do work. Uh, of course, once the item is in the chest, you can then use whatever method you want to get it out of the chest and send it around. You also can't put the, the pneumatic item uh, pump, uh, pneumatic item pumps uh, right up against the side. But once it's in the chest, you can of course set up your pneumatic item pumps, and uh, which we discussed in a previous video, and uh, and use those to. Um, <clears throat> send your items around if you want. Um, now, you can send more than one item at a time, obviously, or it would be very useful. But this thing does only spit out one item at, uh, uh, at a time. If I chuck an entire stack of items in, like this whole stack of wood, it will spit it out individually, and it'll take three seconds to do so. So there we go. We have our, our wood. Uh, went all The entire stack went through in about three seconds. And I think that cascade looks really cool. Now there is a bit of an issue with this if you're using hoppers. If I chuck this wool in, you'll notice that not all of it goes into the hopper. Some of it bounces out. And that's, I think, because the hopper has some sort of an input limit to it. Um, but you can very easily solve that sort of thing. Simply by placing another hopper on, on the end. So now if I take and chuck a bunch of them in, where'd it go? <sighs> My wool's gone. Come back here, wool. So now if you chuck that in there, the, the outflow will get caught in another hopper. 
Um, I tried putting the lock there, it doesn't work. It goes right through. So it's a bit of a limitation on hoppers, not a limitation on the sorting machine. The sorting machine can spit out items for days. But let's see uh, how you can see that you can transfer entire stacks of items. Now, the interesting thing I think about this, oh, oh yeah, also, yeah, if you throw an item in that doesn't have any any sort of a uh, an entry, like a redstone dust, it'll go at the bottom, which is really nice. This means that you can um, build a stack of these uh, and, and just keep filtering items down through multiple sorting machines, which I think is the preferred way of using it. That's how I would use it. Um, because it spits items out uh, physically, I think this thing would work very, very well with things like Immersive Engineering's conveyor belts. It would work very well uh, with any sort of mod that uh, wants you to spit items out uh, into the world. Um, like, uh, I might be able to... Um, yeah, like Britannia has the, uh, the thingy that you have to chuck things into manually. You could use this to sort of send them in. Um, so that's kind of neat. Uh, not a lot of mods that, that actually... Um, utilize the items that are chucked out in the world, but uh, I like this. I like this method. It's very visual when you see a bunch of items sorting through. So yeah, you can build a stack of these. Uh, you can't put them directly on top of each other. Um, if you put them directly on top of each other, the item will uh, not go into the next one. So you do need to leave a, a, a gap of space in between them. So if I was going to build a... and, and we'll just... Um, well, I have a DC engine here, so we'll just go ahead and actually uh, set this up. Show you how to set this up. We'll just do that. Um, this is going to be a little loud. It must have put some more wool. But that's why all this wool is here originally, because uh, I want to deaden the sound of all of these engines. So now um, this one down here is sorting my wood, uh, wool, and stone. Uh, if, for example, I wanted to sort my redstone out the left side, I could very easily do that, and I could chuck that in there, and it would actually fall down in there. Uh, that tried to send it out the bottom, but because it's on the ground, it just sort of popped out randomly. However, if I throw something like stone in this one, which doesn't have it uh, a sorting for it, it'll go down into the next one, which then gets sorted into this chest. And if we want to see that a bit better, uh, we can, of course, chuck the entire stack. And you can see that it comes out the bottom, but when we throw the whole stack, it sort of overflows the hopper, so we would want to put another hopper here if we wanted to do that. My stone keeps going away. I must be clicking it in the wrong spot on the screen. So that's pretty cool. I actually really like the look of that. I, I love how that looks. So if you had a tower of these things, you'd just see items just dropping through, shooting out the sides. Oh man. I can think of a lot of, of uses for this already. I, I like that it's sort of a manual sorting uh, system. So that's the item, uh, that's the sorting machine. Pretty awesome. I quite like the way, it, uh, the way it's been built. So yeah, like I said, you can use this for a lot of different mods because it actually spits the items out into the world. And you can, of course, chain these together infinitely. So uh, yeah, that's basically it on the sorting machine. It's, a very, it's not a very difficult block. It's quite simple to use, but it's also quite cool. Um, so yeah, that's it. So uh, stay tuned for future episodes. I'll be covering... Um, I'm, I'm going to be uh, covering all the new blocks in order to craft that I haven't talked about. Um, things like the liquefaction machine will come up next, and that's what it's called. Um, I haven't had any time to work on the, the fusion plant build, unfortunately. Um, it takes it takes a lot of my time just to keep up with the normal episodes. Um, and this weekend is going to be another ridiculously busy weekend from there's a big uh, festival coming up this weekend. So, unfortunately, uh, that's on hold for a bit. But uh, hopefully, this tides you over. So we'll we'll talk about a couple more machines from the craft coming up in future weeks. So I hope you've enjoyed this. Stay tuned for future episodes. I'm Sapno H, and I'm signing out.